Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders taking on the Syracuse Mets. And now, your Syracuse first pitch coming your way next. Mets. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the mound here this afternoon, Trevor Williams. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very He's tough out. for the opponent today. In plenty of time to first, one out in the top of the first. Let's take a look at our lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Mangum makes the play, and there's two down. Batting third, the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Josh Donaldson. And the right hander deals. Nope, outside. And there's a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Bottom of the first. And starting this one, Domingo Herman. What do you got on him, Chris? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. We go to the bottom of the first. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake Mangum. To the right side. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And, Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Left-hand batter waits. That's a ball. Count is two and one. That one fouled off, two and two. One down, base is empty. Three ball, two strikes. Ground ball right side. Reaches on the backhand, but it's through. Man at first with one gone. And here is Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. So now one and two. Herman 
he isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable. He just hasn't proven that he can do it yet. Cato leads off first with one away. Next pitch is outside. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Two down. Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better got at the plate cool. right there. At least to foul That's something off, man. extend that at bat. Brett Beatty will hit next. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. And a ground ball to first. Takes it himself. Inning over. An inning in the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on the show. Back here in Queens, here is Glaber Torres. But for the most part, with that kind of stuff, you expect him to get to the middle of the ball game. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. And a pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. And what about analytics? Because one of the ways it seems like they've contributed to the trend is it's not just about are you capable of getting deep, that now focusing on the numbers, maybe the matchup is better with a different guy as the game goes on. Here's Miguel Andujar. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Only a handful of pitchers can go through an order three times, maybe even four times, and the analytics have contributed to that trend, but I think there are some guys given an opportunity may be able to show that they can be a third or fourth time through the order type that of pitcher. The first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Two outs, space is empty. And here's the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes. No score here in the second. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to first. That's the third out. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at City Field. Now it's the second baseman, Travis Blankenhorn. Next offering is in for a strike. The one two. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But Patrick. that time, a little anxious. Patrick Muzica. And here's the catcher, Patrick Mazika. And a 1 1. Swing and a miss. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next one in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. 
Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. Carlos Cortez digs in now. The pitch. I got to count two and two. And that one fouled off. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Next offering is fouled back. Two two now. Swing and a base hit. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Not just a cookie base, down the middle. I mean, those are the seven. ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now the first baseman, number seven. Next ball, pitch is good. outside. Two balls and a strike. And this one could be extra bases. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Cut off, now a throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1 0. You've got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. So two down, and now it's JT Riddle. Left-hand hitter waits. Bounce to the right. Torres handles. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Next pitch is inside. And that's ball two. And here it comes. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And out number one on the grab. Batting it. The catcher, number 39, Jose Trevino. Here's Jose Trevino. Next offering is down low. Down to three and one. Bounced up the middle. Gloves it on the dive to first. And very nicely done for the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Oswaldo Cabrera. Check swing, but he went too far. 
It's a ball and two strikes. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And welcome back. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jake Mangum. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The 1-1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. One, two now. No, that's down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. This one lifted in the air, left field. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Now battle. Next is the designated hitter, Gosuke Kato. One for one with a single so far. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. Down. Three, two. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. And he deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. At the belt and fires. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So up next, Travis Jankowski. Two and one now, two aboard. In the air, left field, down the line, and that one gets down, fair ball. Runner from second crosses the plate, and they take a two-run lead. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brett Beatty. Chases that one out of the zone and one away. Now Travis Blankenhorn, the, the next to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now and now the catcher the catch comes up to him. Patrick Mazika. His Mazzica. first at bat was a strikeout. The other way. Base hit. One run in already. 
Now two runs score, and it's 4 nothing. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now the left fielder, Carlos Cortez. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. The pitch. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Ender and Ciarte. Kick, San Dios. Line drive, caught. The right fielder, number 18, Jose Peraza. Jose Peraza at the plate. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, sorry, this ball. guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. The Rail Riders hitless so far in the game. Next pitch is outside. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. A wide to kick the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Throws to first. And they take care of Donaldson for the out. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Labor Torres. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Enters this one with four extra base hits already in the series. Man on second, two down. Labor gets a piece, one and two. Two outs. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. The pitch. That's inside. Peraza at second with two down. And there's a hit. Runner holds it third. So even with two outs, they didn't risk it. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's the left fielder, Miguel Andujar. He's 0 for 1. Right-hander kicks deals. 
And a curve misses outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The count two and one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A three-run rocket. His first homer of the year. And they're chipping away. It's 4-3. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So two away with nobody on. Now here is Ronald Guzman. And a count one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swung on, popped up, left side. And that's the third out. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Back here in Queens. And here's the first baseman, number seven. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the back. Can't get their base hit. The throw into second. Not in time, it's a double. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And the batter will be the shortstop, J.T. Riddle. Man at second. Swing and a miss. One and two. Next offering is foul back. Runner at second, nobody out. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. This one smoked out to left, and there's one down. The center fielder, number six. Jake Mangum now at the plate. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. That's to third. Donaldson collects and they got him. Now batting the designated hitter. Gosuke. And now, Gosuke Kato. Number seven on its second with two down. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number three. Back here at City Field. Now it's the DH. Matt Carpenter. Righty delivers. Right side. Blankenhorn handles. Whips it to first. One away here in the fifth. Now batting. Catcher. Jose... Trevino. At the play, Jose Trevino, 0 for 1 so far. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And it's caught for the out. Now batting the shortstop, Oswaldo Cabrera. And now the shortstop, Oswaldo Cabrera, struck out swinging his first time. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. Two down, nobody on. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And yeah, the right-hander deals. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Throw over to first. Cabrera gets back easily. And the righty deals. Hit hard, base hit. Here comes the runner. Blankenhorn with a relay throw in there. He scores. It's 4-4. Four -four. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Go ahead, run on base. Jose Peraza will hit next. Now fly ball to right center. Jankowski has this one sized up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even now at four piece. New pitcher now, number 92. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. Left-hand batter waits, and it is two and one. Two balls, one strike, the count. Tied at four. And now two and two. Now, interesting strategy there. He must have seen something after that first pitch. Didn't attempt to bunt, but here on the second one, he does. And now the lefty. And a foul ball.
and a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Now, now the third baseman, third Brett baseman. Beatty. And a pitch. Fouled off to the right. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Clark Schmidt up and throwing. And a pitch. In the air out towards right center. Peraza on his way over. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Now batting second baseman. Trevor. Two outs. Base is empty. Blankenhorn climbs in on that left side. On the ground, right side. Torres fires over to first. And that is the inning. We're through five, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. And now, Josh Donaldson. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first, digging for two. He makes it safely with a leadoff double in the sixth. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Trevor Williams will depart, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. Now on the bump, Jose Buto. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Jose Buto. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Glaber Torres. And he's already singled in this game. The pitch. Glaber gets a piece one and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And here it comes. Got him! Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Now the left fielder, Miguel Andujar. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Bullpen activity starting up now. Alex Claudio, the left-hander, up and throwing. Holderman getting cranked up as well. Payoff pitch. And ball four to a board. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Donaldson on second on Duhar at first one gone next pitch is downstairs
And he deals. And that's outside. Right handed reliever. Line drive. Base hit. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And the batter now, Matt Carpenter. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Kicks and deals. In the air, foul off first. Number seven drifts towards it. Makes the grab. Two way down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Now the catcher up to hit, Jose Trevino. And the pitch. In the air, right field. Jankowski pulls that one down, and that ends the inning. Huge opportunity missed there. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. Bottom of the six, and here is Patrick Mazika. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. That smash towards center. And Ciarte puts it away, one away. Now, that, no left fielder. Carlos. now Carlos Cortez. The pitch. And now two and one. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. Hey, I got to give him credit for busting it down to first to beat out that hit. Speed is obviously not a big part of his game. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One down. Next to hit, number seven. And a pitch. Oh, that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound. Fires over to Guzman. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Well, there's a lot riding on that at-bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. JT Riddle digs in now. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The pitch. High fly ball out of the left center field. He's got it. And that is out number three. Through six, all square. 4-4. Four, four. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. Now here is Oswaldo Cabrera. 
the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Now back, back to the top of the lineup. The Here's Ender and CRT. The 3-1 in for a strike. Full count. 3-2 now. Out towards left center. Riddle pulls it down. And there's two down. The right fielder, number 18, Jose Peraza. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be Jose Peraza. The 1-1. One, one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The wide to kick the pitch. That one fouled off. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. Left field. Cortez on the move as he glides back. Pulls it in on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. And we are tied 4-4. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Jake Mangum. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Anduhar makes the catch, and there's one down. Now that the designated hitter, Yosuke. Gosuke Kato, the next to hit. A strikeout and a walk. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And there's two down. The right fielder, number 16, Travis. Jankowski. Now it's the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball up the middle, collected by Torres. Tosses to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Eighth inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Alex Claudio. Number 57, Alex Claudio. Back here in Queens, here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. And a pitch. On the ground to third. Baden handles the chance, throws across the diamond, and they take care of Donaldson for the out. Now that the second baseman. Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres up to the plate. One for three. The pitch. And another ball. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Ball.
Hard hit left side. Fires across the diamond. And that quickly two away. Now batting left fielder Miguel and Duhar. Miguel on Duhar getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. In the air, left side, Cortez settles under this one, and that'll do it. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Back here at City Field, now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Next pitch misses way outside. Next offering upstairs. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Line drive, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Now a good opportunity to potentially right jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Kicks and fires. Slow ground ball to the right side. Guzman picks it up, and he handles it himself for the out. Now that the catcher, Patrick, right pick guard. Patrick Mazika will hit next. Well, he came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. Left hand batter waits. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Got him looking. Huge strikeout there. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Carlos Cortez now at the plate. Here's a 1-2. Good eye right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Back here at the ballpark. And the batter now, Ronald Guzman. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth.
Matt Carpenter the next to hit. two here swing and a miss struck him out and two away now well that's the money maker right there two strikes slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter I mean that's just tough you're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off now at the plate Jose Trevino Next offering finds the zone of the count is four. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk. So digging in, Oswaldo Cabrera. Two outs. Smash to the left side. And foul ball. Next offering misses. And it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. On the ground to third. Beatty to first. That's out number three. Eight, nine, one, two up in the bottom of inning number nine. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. And welcome back. Stepping in, number seven. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. Here's a 1-1. Line drive. Takes it in for the out. Now batting. Shortstop. JT. Riddle. Now it's the shortstop. JT Riddle. Left-hand hitter waits. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Next pitch is outside. Activity in the bullpen. Chad Green, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Drive base hit. There you go. Winning run is aboard with one down. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So up next, Jake Mangum. And now the lefty. Now pop up on the infield. Trevino makes the play. That's out number two. Now that is the designated hitter, Gosuke Kato. Gosuke Kato getting ready to hit. your base runner you've got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get into scoring position two outs but the winning run is at first 
swing and a miss and that is that he's in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results Jason Shree comes on now. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Welcome back. On to extra innings. Here is Ender Enciarte. Look for him to hit behind the runner. Perhaps shoot it to the right side. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. One and two. Movement in the bullpen. Colin Holderman getting ready to go. Next pitch has popped up. Baden brings it in. One up, one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Now the number two hitter, Jose Peraza. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. Line drive, that's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throw's offline, he's saved. And it's now 5-4. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now it's going to be Josh Donaldson. Peraza at first, one gone. The next offering misses. Two and one. Now moves to first. And he's back in safely. Another throw over. And he's back again. And he deals. Down the right field line. That's a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Back-to-back -back singles, textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. And now the young star. It's Glaber Torres. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Next one is off the play, and the count is two and two. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. And the pitch. To short, could be two. Flips to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run, and the home team down a run. Chad Green ready to go, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 57, Chad Green.
Back here in Queens. On to the bottom of the 10th. Digging in, Travis Jankowski. It's so important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. First and second, no outs. Brett Beatty digs in now. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their key. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one away. Now batting the second baseman. Love it. Here's the second baseman, Travis Blankenhorn. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. Big spot, tying and winning runs aboard with one down. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. And here is Patrick Mazika trying to deliver as the hero. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. Just one out away, try to close it out. Stays alive. Here's a one two. That one missed. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Down to their final strike. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two outs. Both the tying and winning runs are on. Swing and a high fly ball left field on Duhar. Gets there. He's under it. Ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. For the Rail Riders, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the home team, four runs on ten hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.